That's solid. How about we like to talk about partnerships and your thoughts on how to possibly get the best partner to grow your company, uh, but also maybe a, a story of somewhat that you've put together a partnership, maybe an introduction, but why it was successful, why it worked, and just how people can possibly go build strong partnerships to grow their business. Sure, so my, my advice on partnerships um, is, uh, is not very nice advice. My advice on partnerships is don't bother. Um, and so um, what do I mean by that and why do I, why do I give the advice? Um, what I mean by that, first of all, is as, as a young startup, um, I suppose there's two kinds of partners you could pursue. One kind of partner is another small company and the other kind of partner is a really large company. So let me talk about each one for a second. Um, we have lots of small companies in our portfolio at Bessemer. We invest in small companies all the time and we're regularly advising them, don't waste your time trying to partner with another small company because that other small company won't be that reliable. Um, they have, you know, whatever their key issue of the day that they're always going to be focused on for survival and to try to build a great business. Um, and as do you, and the likelihood that you're both trying to solve the same problem at the same time is very, very low. And so more likely than not, partnerships between two small companies are a waste of time. They, there's, there's, there's not much to be gained. Um, and so in general, I'd say, don't bother trying to make partnerships with other startups or other small companies. It's, it's not likely to yield much. Uh, the other type of partnership is with, with a much larger company. And there you have exactly the opposite problem, which is that the much larger company um, can, can sneeze or turn two degrees and it will completely upset everything you're trying to do. And furthermore, uh, the much larger company will be extremely demanding and will have hundreds or thousands of people that they can keep throwing at you to bog you down in the, the minutia of what the partnership might look like or how it might be that you'll end up wasting enormous amounts of time trying to get a partnership done. And even then, once it's done, it's, it's not all likely to be, be that useful. Um, I think partnerships are best set for big companies and big companies, or maybe medium companies and big companies, but not for startups. I think for startups, you have to focus on how do I build my business where I don't depend on some large company. Um, as soon as I do depend on a large company, um, even if I'm able in the highly unlikely that I'm able to make something work, um, you're then beholden to that big company and they're going to insist on owning a big piece of you, buying you or, or doing something that doesn't really let you live out your vision. And, and where you're going to be most tempted to find these partners is partners who can help solve your biggest problems. Um, but my advice is don't, don't, don't rely on anyone to solve your biggest problems. Solve them yourself. Um, and so the, the classic case is with uh, a consumer startup, which sees a big company as a source of large numbers of consumers um, to, to sort of introduce the product to or bring it to bear. And I've seen many, many companies try it and it just never works because the truth of the matter is um, most companies, even with massive consumer bases, at best can simply introduce or show a new product to their consumer base. Um, and even when they do that, um, the likelihood of take up amongst those consumers is typically a fraction of a fraction of a percent. And so even a company with 100 million users who might put your product in front of all of them might end up yielding you know, some number of you know, thousands of users for you. And you end up spending so much time and, and sort of couch down to all the big company partners needs it's just not worth it. So if you can't find a way to make your business succeed on your own without depending on a partner, it's highly unlikely to be a really valuable business. And so if, if your inclination or your, your dependence from day one is, is on partners, I'd suggest maybe finding a different plan. Now, there are of course exceptions. Um, I'm sure someone out there has built a great business um, which was driven entirely by a partnership. Um, but oftentimes um, the exceptions um, are, uh, are wild outliers. And so, you know, one example, some people will often give is, is Google in the early days had this phenomenal search engine product, but the real breakthrough for Google was when they convinced the incumbent massive search engine player, which was Yahoo, to power all the Yahoo searches by Google and even include a little bit of Google branding in the Yahoo searches. Um, and some would argue that that partnership was key and it really made Google in the early days. And I might agree that that probably was key, although it was probably more important that the Google product was so fantastic. I think eventually they would have found their way to consumers anyway. But I'd argue that the partnership itself was a massive strategic blunder on Yahoo's part. Yahoo never should have done that partnership. Um, if anything, it should have used the Google search results but not had any Google branding. There was a hundred mistakes Yahoo made in that. And so if you're a startup trying to make a business based on a partnership, hoping or depending on a, a large strategic company to, uh, sorry, a large company to make a huge strategic blunder so that your partnership works doesn't feel like the best strategy for building a startup. Again, I'd say spend the time thinking about your own independent ways of succeeding, 
not relying on partners at all. That's great advice. It's funny because I usually follow that question up with what type of partnerships are you looking for? But obviously I'm not going to ask that, but what type of opportunities possibly are you looking for to collaborate with maybe? And the reason I ask this because we usually do this on a LinkedIn live show, uh, another company that you invested in, the Series C. That was a nice job there. Um, but what type of opportunities are you looking to collaborate with that possibly our, our network here uh, in within Entra can reach out if they have that type of opportunity and they understand what you're looking for. So are there any opportunities that um, maybe you're looking for or portfolio company opportunities that, you know, so we can add value? Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, look, I, I'm, most of the time, at least half my time I spend thinking about where do I want to invest um, and how do I find the entrepreneurs with interesting companies in those areas? Um, and build relationships so that maybe at some point, either now or well down the road, I have an opportunity to invest. Um, and so, and and like I said, I have about 15 peers at Bessemer who are doing something really similar to me, and we typically work in, in, in teams of two or three to do that. Um, and so I'd say if uh, if you've got a company that's you know relevant to some of the areas in which we invest, and you can see all about that on our on our website, we typically publish our roadmaps to the areas we're proactively looking to invest. And you think you've got something that's that's relevant. Um, where we can be helpful or where we'll find it really interesting, uh, reach out. That's my, my, my number one way of saying, uh, uh, so collaborating, so to speak. For, for us, collaborating is about investing. Now, across our portfolio, we have investments in, in over 100 companies. Some of them are really early, might be a few people trying to get an idea um, going. And in other instances, you know, you know Pinterest is in our portfolio and, and it's a, a large multi-billion dollar public company. Um, and so the types of opportunities across our portfolio where our companies might be looking to collaborate um, are so broad and varied, it's hard to get specific uh, in, in, a, in a venue like this. Um, but if you think you've got something as an entrepreneur that might be really relevant to one of our portfolio companies, virtually all of which are listed on our website, bvp.com, um, feel free to reach out. I, I'm, I'm happy to either make sure that someone at one of those companies um, takes a look at and reacts to your idea or proposition, or um, in some cases, I might tell you, look, this is just not a fit, and, and, and I'll try to explain why. Um, but uh, but I'm happy to provide that. And, and to push push a little more on that, if they do have an opportunity, what's the best way to reach out? Is there a, a, an investor email or opportunity mm -hmm. email? They, they can just email me, Jeremy. It's just my first name at bvp.com. Okay, and uh, promise, I promise, I will read it. And if it's if it's interesting, I promise I will reply. But I get a lot of emails. And so if I don't reply, it's not because I didn't read it or I didn't see it. Um, it's because I haven't had a chance to reply and I don't think it's interesting. Um, I will try to reply even if I don't think it's interesting, but, but I'm not going to promise that. But I will promise to read all of it.